guys. Okay, so I have a question um, from somebody I'm friends with on Facebook and somebody that watches my YouTube channel. And I wanted to do a video response because I feel like I can kind of get out what I have to say a little bit better through a video. Plus, excuse me, it's about children, um, kids being brought up in the pagan path. And I know that there are a lot of you out there that do have children, and so I figured because I don't, um, it would also give other people a chance to respond to this question and maybe give a little bit more insight than what I have. Um, so I'm going to read the question, kind of read her background a little bit, and then I will give my opinion, and then I would love for others to comment as well and give their opinions um, because, yes. So, here we go. Okay. Okay. So she's been studying and practicing for about five years now. Um, she feels so much joy and happiness through her practice, but she somewhat wants to keep it from her children. They know that mommy is a witch and a pagan, but they are becoming more curious. My biggest concern is the fact that I live in a small Catholic slash Baptist town in Texas. I'm worried about my children talking about it at school and it causing problems. Now, I know we have freedom of religion, but it doesn't stop teachers or other parents from becoming concerned about something they don't understand, which we all know that. Um, people around here are so quick to call the cops on us, or CPS, to call CP oh, Child Protective Services, sorry, uh, on others for any little reason they see fit. I myself is our, have already experienced this. I've had a few of my magical items out on display, but I don't think the caseworker noticed. Since then the case was dropped, but now I'm afraid to decorate my own home the way I want or teach my children anything out of fear of someone judging me. I was just wondering what your opinion was on this subject, or maybe you could make a video. Um, scrolling. It's sad that my daughter wants to know about magic, and I told her I would teach her, but she has to keep it a secret. I did tell her that there's nothing wrong with it, but other people... Other people practice other religions and don't agree with ours and may bully her. I'm just so confused. The biggest part of me wants to shout from the rooftops that I am who I am, but I still live in so much fear of judgment. So, of course we all want to say, tell them to fuck off and um, basically do what you want to do, but, I mean, you still can't do that nowadays. Especially if you live in a small town like that, where everybody is very religious, um, you can't just say whatever because, you know what I mean? Um, so what I would say, and like I said, I do not have children, um, so it may be completely different once I have kids. Um, but, you know, if kids are asking, there's no reason that you can't involve them in ritual, um, teach her or both of them or however many kids you have, um, you know, I saw that you had a daughter. Teach your daughter about spells, about that kind of, but just don't use the terminology, you know, don't use the terms that may scare other people if she were to repeat it, um, you know, spells, magic, witches, witchcraft, um, you know, anything like that, that may, ritual, that may, she may repeat, that may scare people, um, you know, maybe just refrain from using those. Maybe just keep it more on a natural level. Um, you know, being out with the trees and out with nature and the energy of things and just kind of keep it. My phone always texts. Somebody texts me whenever I'm doing a video. I'm pretty sure it's on every video I have. Um, but, uh, but anyway, you know, I would... I, I wouldn't keep it from her because if it's something she wants to learn, you know, definitely I would want her to embrace that. I wouldn't want her to be afraid of something and tell her, no, I can't teach that to you because, you know, it's going to scare other people. But at the same time, I would kind of keep it, um, I guess, dumbed down a little bit. Just watch the terminology you use. I would also say, now, when I first started practicing uh, Wicca, I was young, you know, 10, 11, that range. And I actually really enjoyed treating it as a secret. Um, you know, I didn't tell anybody. I loved feeling like I had this big secret that nobody knew about me. And I mean, nowadays it's, it's not like that anymore. But, but when I was younger, it kind of, I kind of played it like a game. Um, not 
my religion, but I treated the fact that I had, you know, I had, I was, I was a witch and I couldn't tell anybody and, and kind of charmed style. And, you know, if your kids are young enough, maybe that's something you could try to, you know, just kind of play it like a game, like, okay, you know, I'm going to teach you all this, but it's, it, you know, it, we have to keep it a secret, you know, it's, it's something that we want to keep to ourselves. And Irish database has been updated. My computer's talking to me. Um, but, you know what I mean? I mean, not to, I guess this is worse doing it in the video, but can you imagine me trying to type this out? Um, well, uh, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, you know, just kind of treating it like a secret, like you, um, I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying, because I've tried to do this video like five times, and every time I do it, this is exactly how it comes out, because I don't have kids, so it's really hard for me to kind of get out what I'm trying to say, because um, you don't want to hide your religion, but sometimes kids really like playing the secret game. They like knowing, okay, I have something that I'm not supposed to tell anybody else, and, you know, it, it makes me special kind of a thing, you know what I mean? And so, I guess those are my two, my two, uh, options or opinions or on, on this whole thing is basically just watch the terminology and play the secret game. Um, because you're not going to be able to change people's minds. No matter how hard you try, you're just not going to be able to. Um, I've been dating Kevin for two years now, and, you know, his grandparents still think I'm going to hell, even though I've explained to them multiple times what paganism is and what I'm all about and what I do. They are still absolutely petrified for myself and my children. So you're not going to be able to change people, but you can kind of change a little bit what you do. Um... You know, as far as decorating your home, I would say decorate however you want. You know, you may want to watch, you know, if you have an athame or if you have something that looks a little more dangerous, um, you may want to kind of keep that on the down low. Just keep that to your to your your altar or to your ritual room or, or however you want to, whatever you have. Um, but I would definitely say, you know, decorate how you want. Um, just keep the dangerous looking objects away because there are a lot of stuff that we can put up that is magical and witchy that look like normal things to other people. You know, um, you can have herbs out on the table. You can have, I've got Halloween stuff hanging up still that, well, that I got at Halloween. Like one of them's a witch's hat and it says the witch is in. Um, you can have pillows out that have cats or moons or whatever. Um, you know, you can have pentagrams up. You can have pentacles. You can have whatever, stars, moons, I mean, you can decorate your house to the fullest and have it be super witchy and not have anybody think anything of it. Um, so that's kind of my opinion on it. Um, to the person that I'm writing this to, if you do have any other questions for me or if I didn't really answer exactly what you were asking, you can definitely Facebook me because that's how we've been talking. Um, but for everybody else that's watching this, I would absolutely love for you to comment below and kind of leave your opinions, especially you guys that have children uh, in the pagan community and how you're doing with it. Um, so I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't worry if you're looking forward to the next Waverly video. It is coming. I've just, I've had a lot of shit going on. So um, I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.